guys, today I filmed this look here, which is quite a glam night out makeup. To be honest, I don't know what I'm going to call it. It can be used for Instagram, it can be used for nights out, date night, uh, proms. I think I wore this for my graduation last week. Um, I don't know, it's just a really summery bronze look that could be used for anything. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. So at the moment, I have no idea what look I'm going to do, but you should be able to know by the title and the intro. So I'm just going to play around and I'll see what I'll come up with. I'm just taking this fluffy blending brush and mixing these two shades together. And just blending that through the crease. I'm just taking a denser fluffy brush and taking this darker orange shade um, right into the crease to just darken it up a little bit. Just blending that out now. and then just repeat in the same steps until it looks the way that I want it. So you can copy this as much as you want or you can change it up, make it less dramatic, change the colours, um, try and find similar colours if you don't have the exact same palette that I'm using, it's up to you. So now I'm going to darken it even more, I've decided I want it really um, smoky and dramatic so I'm just taking this colour on uh, the Real Techniques blending brush. I'm going to mix it with a bit of purple actually. And then just blending that right in the outer corner. So for the lid shade I'm just going to mix these two colours together and then just pat them straight over the lid of my eye. I feel like this is pretty similar to the demi look that I filmed, um, except it's using warmer shades and it's not winged out so hopefully it will make my eyes look a bit bigger. And then just remember to blend that back out um, with all of the crease colours. So I'm just going to put on my fake eyelashes and I'll be back. Um, I have a video on how I do them on my channel so if you want to go and check that out. So I've got my eye just watching Gossip Girl. <laughs> um, I've got my eyelashes on, um, I've done what I normally do and then I've added an extra half onto each corner just to make it even more dramatic. 
because I think I want to go full glam for this one. And then for underneath the eye, I'm just going to use a blending brush again and take the darkest colour that we used on top and just run that underneath. It's so hard not to pull a face. Then I'm just going to take mascara and run that on my bottom lashes. So that is the eye look done. So I'm just going to conceal under my eyes using the same concealer that I always use. <laughs> So I don't want these videos to be too repetitive, but I don't actually have that many different um, makeup products. So let me know if you like these kind of videos or you want to see more, or if you want to see something else. So I'm just blending that out with a brush. Just so I can get in all the little creases that a beauty blender can't. I look like a ghost at the moment. So, and then just gonna highlight the tops of my cheekbones with as many highlighters as I can. Starting with this Revlon Skin Lights Illuminator. So, I'm then taking the Revlon Instafix Highlighting Stick and running that where we just put the other highlighter pretty much exactly like I did in my other tutorial. Right, and then for the skin, I'm using this BB cream in the shade light because it is the only color, the only thing I've got that matches my skin when I've got fake tan on, and clearly my face and my neck do not match at the moment. It still doesn't look like it matches. Um, but it normally oxidises throughout the day, so hopefully by the time I'm done it will look a bit closer to the colour of my neck. I can't stand having foundation on my lips. It's horrible. In person, that matches my neck. You're just gonna have to trust me. So now I'm just gonna set under my eyes and in the center of my face. Just taking a bigger brush, just pat it on. All right, so then I'm just gonna contour using the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit and this color on the end. And then blending that out with my beauty blender again. So then I'm just going to use this Barry M lipstick in the colour 172. Mine melted and now it's all wonky. Right, so that's the finished makeup. I will come back when my hair is finished. Look at it. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I know that some of it might have been a bit repetitive because I don't have that many makeup products, but let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, so I've done three makeup videos, a fashion video, and just like a get to know me video. So let me know what you enjoyed seeing and if you've got any ideas for what I could film next or if you want to see anything in particular, just let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Um, 
I know that wear it on here which is 